What up guys? Alright, so this is going to be a very boring Mega Squirt 3 uh, install video. So if you do not care about the Mega Squirt 3 gold box, I would just go ahead and stop watching right now. And I will see you in another video. Andrew, what's up? Hey guys. Yeah, so his GTI is still slow. Um, E30 is going to blow it away, but uh, you know, he might come down. He might race, you know, he might hang out, but uh, I know everyone misses Andrew because everyone loves Andrew, right? I'm coming in uh, for a cameo potentially here soon. Oh, hell yeah. All right, so I'll get to wiring, Mega Square 3, uh, fuel pump, all that good stuff, so I'll see you there. It's so we seem to have some pretty good acoustics in here, so I'm going to talk about Mega Squirt for a second. So with the PNP, the plug and play harness that if you bought the Mega Squirt 3 gold box, which I'm assuming you did if you, you're watching this video. But basically, this is a pretty easy ECU to wire up. And if this is your first standalone ECU like it is mine, you can still do it. Nothing hard about it. So what we're going to start out with is I'm going to explain. Once you have it mounted and the ECU is plugged into your engine, basically the harness is hooked up, you are left with a couple of wires. So one of these is going to be a constant 12 volt. The other is going to be a switch volt. This one's going to be for your fan. Um, these are for O2 sensors, whatever you want. Basically the inputs. <clears throat> so our pin 32 is going to be our fan. And now the way Megasquirt works with a lot of these switched inputs is using a um, ground based trigger. So how we wire our regular relays is not how we're going to wire one of these. And they talk about that basically how there's two different styles of relays and how you can short circuit everything when you don't want to. So that's what we're going to try and avoid. Um, and we will avoid by using a ground trigger relay. So the two circumstances I can think of right now where we're going to use these ground trigger relays are going to be one, on the fuel pump relay, which is going to be a ground trigger because Mega Squirt is going to control that. And two, we're going to use a ground trigger relay to control both fans. Now the advantages of controlling the fans with the relay versus just wiring it up to like a switch when the dash is right here is we can tune when the fan kicks on when it doesn't uh, without using a thermostatic switch. So that's really handy and it reduces the amount of um, wires we're going to need. We don't have to worry about tapping the thermostat housing. We can basically just use the coolant temperature sensor to run our fans. And that's all available change in Tuner Studio. Now you can do the same thing with nitrous and you can do the same thing with basically all your other inputs or your outputs um, using a uh, ground relay controller because with higher amperages and stuff like that, you don't want to be controlling power. You want to be controlling ground. So yeah. Um, you have this handy dandy little fuse block right here, which is going to be where we're going to, um, yeah, our little fuse block. I thought it was a relay for a second, but basically, yeah. So we're going to hook the thicker wire up to right here, our distribution, which is from our battery back there. So our fuel pump trigger relay is going to run up there to this purple wire, I believe is the fuel pump. Um, trigger oh well could be wrong doesn't really matter so basically we're going to run a constant 12 volt power directly to the battery via the thick wire on the fuse block right here and then we're going to use our 12 volt switch power and I'm going to do what I'm gonna make a quick note so the 12 volt switch power has to be hot during crank and start so what that means is when you flip ignition on the ECU comes on because it's going to control pulse uh, like the dwell of the spark plug as it fires etc etc you need it to be on while it is cranking over and then we also need it while the car is running obviously so the way we're going to do that is obviously I'm imagining my dash is right here we're going to have our ignition switch we're going to flip that on ECU is going to pop on fuel pumps going to pop on and then when we hit the start, which is the momentary uh, switch, uh, might as well get out and show you. So I found my switch panel. And so this is going to be our ignition, which will turn on fuel pump and uh, the ECU. And then this will be our start. And obviously these three switches will be left open for whatever we desire. I'll figure it out. And then this is our, oh, 
that was our accessory switch, which is now going to be for the gauges and a couple other cool things. Got a 30 amp relay. Got a decent amount of amperage to work with. Oof, just got a shiver for some reason. Anyways, we got 30 amps to work with, 30, 40 switching amps to work with, according to this max switching current, 40 amps. Um, so we can do whatever, but getting back to the ground trigger relay versus a regular relay, or flip, this is our regular relay. So basically this controls power in and out through these wires. So think of it basically just closing a bridge. So that power can go from our battery to our accessory. Now with this, it's almost a similar way, but it's basically wired backwards. So pin 86 and 30, which would normally be our switch wire and our power wire are fused together. So our ground trigger source, pin 85 is now our trigger. And then our 87 is our um, power to our ground. Yeah, if that makes sense. So basically you want it normally off and then you want the trigger to switch it on instead of turning on the relay and having it on. Yeah, so normally on, normally off. So ECU is pretty much wired in. We wired in that switch 12 volt and our constant 12 volt to the battery. And now I just need to hook up a switch to turn on the ECU and find a serial cable so I can connect. Oh, and I got to do the ground over there on the head. Other than that, uh, I'm going to grab a serial cable. I'm going to go home, get my laptop, um, and I'm going to see what the Megasquirt system thinks of the engine. Now, obviously, there's going to be issues. I'm not planning on anything going to plan, but I at least want to fire it up, see if I can get it to run and, um, well, not run, uh, talk to the tuner studio and get it to see the engine. So, yeah, let's see how it goes. My boy Quet, what's up? What's up? Wiring in the ECU. Uh, about to do fuel pump on a negative relay trigger like we were talking about before. So, about to lay down a quick crimp. Yes, sir. Quet just figured something really cool out. So, we're trying to control the alternator with Mega Squirt and uh, it turns out pin 12 on the black plug can control a two wire alternator. So what that means is if you have a two pin alternator like I have down here, that means you can use the Mega Squirt to control the alternator and not use the lamp, I guess. We'll, we'll explain that later, but basically pin 12 is what controls it. You can use a jumper and uh, that controls, I think the lamp, not the field, but it's either L or F and this controls one of them. And yeah, that's what we're doing right now. Isn't that right? Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, we got the amp seal going. We just hooked up, or quite did, I didn't, I'm not gonna take credit for his awesome work, but uh, got the alternator field control in there but we're going to take this advantage uh or take this time and use it to our advantage to look at our other uh pins that we have on this black connector and uh see what we can add most likely two-step and um the nitrous control so fucking mint which means 30 would be down here towards the middle yeah one, if you two, can like three, kind of stack one, it up two, So here's nitrous. Hell yeah. All right, so what else is on the black plug? Where's two step? Two step is not, not on, on this one. one. So if we go to you have gray two plug. nitrous outs though. Yeah, I have a nitrous in on the gray plug too. So we'll have to do this on the gray plug too. Okay. Was that the nitrous out, right? Yeah, that's yeah, nitrous out. Yeah, but it says out. you have two nitrous out. It's a part one. And part I only two. need one. I don't okay. have two kits. <laughs> I ain't shooting for that much. So. I guess we can seal that one back up then. Cool beans.
Oh man, that is nice, Bye, uh... dude. Mint. All right, so let's do the great plug. All right, so how do you pop these amp seals open? All right, so we're gonna start in the corner. I'm gonna kind of try to pick up on it right here. Oh, I see. So you gotta lift up on that instead of like um, trying to pry it out. It's not like a pen. You gotta just lift up on it. Mm-hmm. You wanna make sure you get a. Um, you wanna get under it first before you start prying, cause you'll yeah. you'll break it off. And then that face pops off. Boom. Slider pins in. <laughs> so we got some pins. Which ones are we doing? We're doing, we have flex, we have two-step, we have nitrous, we have data logging. We got some fun shit going on. Dude, those are the fun ones. You just said everything that I fucking love about race cars. Data analytics and going fast. And being half decent to the environment. Corn juice, bro. Corn juice. Starting to come together. ECU's wired up. It's got power. Uh, riv nutted the nitrous heater in what else did we do oh fuel pump relay mm, tried to fuck around with the steering shaft that fell out again but I'll get that at some point I don't need to drive this thing yet it's not going anywhere 